Thanks for tuning in to this next edition of Daco's Technical Series. We all know the sound, a loud annoying noise coming from underneath the hood of a vehicle. Belt noise is not only a nuisance, it's a sign that there's something wrong with the dry belt system. And that's not unique to your everyday light duty passenger vehicles. These heavy duty big rigs, they deal with some of the same problems. Both drivers and mechanics of heavy duty vehicles know that front end accessory drive components may last for quite some time but eventually do wear significantly and must be replaced to retain proper performance. That includes serpentine belts and belt tensioners. Every application and environment condition is different for these big rigs, on-road or off-road. Daco recommends checking serpentine belts and tensioners per the manufacturer's preventive maintenance schedule. For this video, we are working on a 2007 Volvo VN series truck with a VE12 engine. This truck has over 928,000 miles on it and is due for a look under the hood. First, before beginning any work on the engine, make sure you have taken the necessary safety precautions, such as setting the parking brake, removing the keys from the ignition, and disconnecting the vehicle's battery. There are several ways to inspect a tensioner while the engine is running. If you hear any noise coming from the tensioner, it may be a good idea to check the tensioner with the engine shut off. If the serpentine belt is tracking in properly or is off-center, this is a sign of bushing wear resulting in tensioner misalignment. Loss of tension, sticking, or notchy movement are also signs of a tensioner that needs to be replaced. You can also test serpentine belt noise with the engine running. Lightly spray the rib side of the belt with water. If the noise gets louder, the belt noise is a squill caused by low belt tension. If you spray the ribs and the noise temporarily goes away but comes back as the belt dries out, the noise is chirped caused by misalignment the number one cause of belt noise. Now, to have a closer look at the VE12 engine's tensioner and serpentine belt, first relieve tension on the belt to remove the serpentine belt off of the pulleys using a half inch ratchet. Next, remove the tensioner by using a 3 8 inch air ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket. If you do not have an air ratchet, a typical ratchet will work for this application. With the tensioner removed, inspect the tensioner for any signs of wear. Be on the lookout for any bearing noise as well as metal to metal contact between the arm and spring case, which is a sign of bushing or pivot bushing wear. Lastly, if there are any cracks in the tensioner or if the tensioner arm or spring case is broken, make sure you replace the tensioner. To remove the engine serpentine belt, release tension on the vehicle's fan belt to slide the fan belt off the pulleys. With the fan belt off the pulleys, slide the serpentine belt out of the engine compartment. With the serpentine belt removed, check the belt using the Deco awareness gauge for any signs of wear. Go ahead and look for cracks, chunks of the belt missing, abrasion, and pilling as these are signs of belt wear on the older neoprene style belts. Check the belt for any signs of wear, which on today's EPDM belts will include rib wear. The gauge is designed to check wear in three different ways, rib profile, rib depth, and cracking. Use the bar on the gauge to check rib depth. EPDM belts lose rubber similar to that of a tire and indicate the belt is worn. Also, use the crown of the gauge to check side to side movement within the ribs of the belt. If the gauge is moving, it's time to replace the belt. With the Volvo's belt and tensioner removed, we want to check for any signs of misalignment within the belt drive system. Use Daco's laser alignment tool, which is available in the Daco belt diagnostic kit, to check for misalignment. When the laser and receiver are connected to different pulleys, check to see if the laser shines through the word DACO on the receiver. If so, the pulleys are aligned correctly. We went ahead and checked for misalignment on both the fan pulleys and the air conditioning pulleys. With signs of wear, we are replacing the tensioner with a DACO 89457 gold label tensioner. The gold label tensioner features a flat spring and heavy cast casings built to withstand the wear and tear of rugged diesel engines. We are also replacing the truck's serpentine belt with a Deco 5080385 gold label heavy duty serpentine belt. This belt is built to withstand the high torque of diesel engines and is engineered with EPDM rubber compounds to resist heat and harsh underhood environments experienced in over the road and off road conditions. Now, slide the new serpentine belt over the pulleys and rest it there while we install the new tensioner. Before installing your new Deco tensioner, clean the mounting surface on the engine with a light abrasive sandpaper or abrasive pad. While a little difficult to see here, 
Locate the pin holes on the bracket and position the tensioner into the mounting holes. Now, tighten the bolts with your 3/8 inch air ratchet until it is snug. Daco recommends tightening the bolts to 35 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. Now finish installing the serpentine belt and release the tensioner to provide pressure against the belt. Make sure to go ahead and reinstall the fan belt that you removed earlier, too. After your new belt is installed, reconnect the battery and start the engine. It is important to verify that all belt ribs are aligned properly in the pulley grooves. Having the belt installed one rib off may run for a while, but will eventually lead to belt failure. If satisfactory, run the engine for a few minutes to seat the belt.